morning of 2010, Jody Weiss, superintendent of the Chicago Police Department, was giving an on-street interview with a local news station. Shots rang out a few blocks away. A man was murdered. Jody Weiss told the reporter, I have to run. But he did not run to the shooting. He took off. You'll be hearing two interviews with Jody Weiss. He gives two different stories about what happened that day. Jody Weiss will be forever known as Jay Fled because of this day. Here is video from the news interview. It was during the news conference we heard the shooting. We had pulled Weiss aside for a one on one. You hear sirens in the background, then this. I've got to run, sorry. Okay. 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 Next, Jody Weiss is interviewed on WIND 560 AM by Big John Howell and Amy Jacobson. Listen closely to his accounts of the story. Can you just take me through your thought process and not responding uh, to that, that particular crime, which I guess is still on south? Can you explain to me why you didn't go? And I thought, just so you know, I thought that it was a legitimate uh, that the superintendent doesn't respond if other squads were already there, and that sometimes when the superintendent shows up, it'll kind of slow things down anyway. But just can you help me defend myself to those who say that you should not have left or you should have, you should have shown up? Sure. The, uh, the scenario went down like this. We were given a press conference outside. Um, at some time during the press conference, there was an unfortunate shooting a few blocks away. I never heard the shots. Uh, I had no indication that there was a shooting, and the, and the press conference continued on for about another 15 minutes or so. Then I was doing some uh, on-camera interviews, I think, with Channel 7 and Channel 2, I believe. At that time, my uh, PIO came up to me and said, hey, we've got to go. And I said, no, no, I'm in the middle of an interview. He said, hey, we have to go. There's been a shooting. So I excused myself from the interview, and I said, okay, was there a shooting? Was it a police officer? What just happened? He said, no, about 15 minutes ago, there was a shooting. And I said, where was it? He goes, a few blocks from here. So I was going to go and respond to it, and I said, when did this happen? And he said, a few minutes ago. So I called over there and said, hey, what's the situation? The victim had already been transported out. The crime scene had already been secured. Everything was in place. And your logic is exactly the same as mine. When I show up at a scene, you know, I tend to be at a distraction. You know, the highest ranking person's running over to me. They want to give me a brief. They know what's going on. I already knew what had happened. And if I would have gone to that scene, all it would have been was a distraction. I have total confidence in the guys below me to handle a crime scene of a shooting. Unfortunately, we do that a lot in Chicago. So for me to go over there, I actually thought it would, would just be a distraction. I already had another appointment I had to go to. I wanted to get back to the office, meet that uh, obligation, turn around, you know, get ready and go out that night down to the south side and do some foot patrolling myself. So it was just a decision based upon the totality of the circumstances. But, uh, you know, that was my logic. To go there, the scene was already secure, the victim had been transported away, and uh, the guys had it totally under control. So uh, my first, my biggest fear would have had I walked over there, the cameras would have followed me, and I'd have been accused of grandstanding and trying to make some big play for the media, which is not my style at all. Now let's go one year later. This is Jody Weiss on WS Radio with Ro Khan explaining the same incident. But listen how all the details have changed. And there were a couple things that happened. I mean, there were incidents that occurred, and your reaction to those incidents uh, that became issues at FOP meetings and, you know, rank and file mm -hmm. issues, uh, including, you know, the, the police officer who hit the guy in the wheelchair at the hospital. Mm -hmm. You had the drunk driver out on uh, uh, the, the, the police officer who was drunk on the expressway who uh, hit and killed some people. The female bartender incident, the, the, I think, was... Yeah, well, that was, that was before you, you got there. You. But, but you had that, that incident, and then, uh, and then the situation that happened, uh, was it a year ago or whatever, on the South outside where there was a shooting and there were people, you were at a press conference, there was a shooting and people going, and there were uh, police officers who were saying, oh, you went the other way as opposed to going directly at the, at the line of fire, right? Can you respond to that for me? Because we talked about that once before. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's almost just 
it's almost funny when I think about that. Anybody that's known me in my life, I think, you know, coward would be the last word they'd associate with me. But as I said before, we're giving a press conference, the wind is howling, notes are bling all over the place. You know, I never heard a shot, I never picked it up on the radio, and I'm sitting there talking, and uh, our PIO comes over, he said, we gotta go now. I said, what? No, 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 we're still giving an interview. And he said, no, no, we have to go now. And uh, I said, why, what's going on? He said, no, we just have to get out of here. So I didn't know if there was some other media event or something. So I said, hey, um, he says I gotta run, so I guess we gotta run. I had no idea there was a shooting a few blocks away. And had I gone there, all I'm gonna do is draw attention to the scene. I mean, the, the bad guys had gotten away. There was really nothing to do other than to go over and evaluate the scene. And that's why we have detectives and that's why we have commanders. But there was no you know, running from the scene and I... Notice, Jody Weiss never brings up that his IPO told him there was a shooting like he did in the first interview. All he said was, we have to run. You make the call.